está duro. Muy bonito. Yo no creo que tú lo vayas a vender, ¿no? What up? Long time no see. I feel like if I don't post a video at least once a day, I'm not doing my job. But I have a lot of exciting news for you guys. First and foremost, the Honda Beat Waffle has officially started. We'll get more into that in a second. Secondly, if you were able to watch the $5 10K subscriber giveaway on my Instagram, you saw that Will Lindsay won. You. Hey, you got my computer. That's no good. I was watching you. What Hang on. That's good. <laughs> I'm stumped. I never would have thought this happens. It's, it's, you gotta take a chance. You never yeah. Look um, at me. Um, so, wait, I can't see you though. I, see yeah, you. I know. Where the heck's my camera? I gotta find it. Sorry. Sorry, right. I'm watching the Dolphins lose. So. <laughs> well, that's me. I'll do it that way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, I, was so up, up? I never in a million uh, years thought that where, was gonna where, happen. Where do you live? <laughs> Um, I'm in Jersey. I'm kind of oh, outside oh, trip. Yeah, there. not far at all. Everything I, I was looking at is right around here because I've been dreaming for two days yeah. staring at key cars yeah. online. So on Thursday, me and him are going to go look at some cars because the way I had it structured, looking back, I, I wish I did it differently just because I don't know. I thought more people would join. So I did it for five dollars. I did it for two weeks and I thought that they would be. I don't know, I thought more people would support, I guess you could say, but whatever, we'll get more into that later. But on Thursday, me and him are going to go look at two sandbars. He's thinking about either getting this blue one that I posted on my Patreon, or this red one that I also posted on my Patreon. One's automatic, one is manual. They're both van, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're going there Thursday. I think that's gonna be a really fun video because he's gonna actually see the beat in person. We're gonna be able to drive to some of the options. They're all kind of in the same vicinity in Jersey. And I think it'd be cool to get like his point of view, my point of view, what his thought process is. For one of the vans, he actually has to add money so it goes over my budget. And then the other one would technically be free. But I think he's gonna go with the red one. If you're watching this right now, I think he's gonna go with the red one. Just because he said he's more into like the classic look and the red van is a sandbar classic van. And it's a 97, so it's a three-speed automatic, which I didn't know about. So that's gonna be kind of cool to see one of those in person. But I look forward for Thursday. Also on Thursday, what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna go check out that white Minica. You guys remember I saw the white one that was $3,200. I still wanna buy that black Alto, and I probably still will. But I just feel like, I don't know, whenever I find K cards for that cheap, that start, run, come with title, it's almost hard for me to pass it up. I know that one has a lot of damage like on the hood and it's not really a desirable car. It's a regular like egg-shaped little K car. But for me, for $3,200, if I can put two grand into it and flip it for like, let's say seven, because like this is kind of my job to buy crappy cars and make it better. But like if I could drop it off to the place, get the car completely repainted black, have them fix the hood, me add some rims, some underglow. I was looking for a lot of parts online uh, the other day, but I couldn't find any, but like maybe do like a DIY intake, you know, do little fun stuff to make that car better. I think it'd be a fun project. Along with the black auto, but at least with the black auto, I could see myself keeping for a while. I can see the white Minica being like a 100% flip, like buying it, let's say October 10th and being done with it by like November 10th, like solely with the purpose to flip it and make as much content as possible and make it as much enjoyable as possible. So maybe that's coming soon. I want to check it out again on Thursday just because that day I was doing a 700 mile road trip. I didn't have too much time to really like look deep into it. So we're also gonna do that on Thursday. Something else I wanna like not tell you guys too much about, but give you guys like a small sneak peek. I haven't even mentioned this on my Patreon, but a small sneak peek is that I may be buying my first ever export. It's a car that I don't wanna say too much about it. Cause like I have this bad habit when I find something, I just spill the beans right away. But trust me when I say, it's not an easy one. Look, I'm already spilling the beans, but trust me when I say if I buy this export, right, it is going to be by far, undeniably, the best K car I've ever owned. By far. It's not an easy one, but by far the coolest, the cleanest, the, 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 I don't want to say too much, but by far, like, the best K car I've ever bought in my life. So we'll see. That is maybe in the works. That should come soon it's an export so it's not gonna i can't just drive to pick it up it's nowhere near me i can't I literally cannot drive anywhere to pick it up like it's not in like here it's not in america but that may be coming soon i'm not gonna talk too much about it but trust me trust me trust me trust me if i get this car it's by it's 
up here. Like every other K car I've ever bought was here. Every other K car, like just it's here. It's trust me, trust me, trust me. Also, speaking of Patreon, I've been seeing a lot of things over there. I actually posted a Patreon exclusive video recently. I'll give you guys a little bit of what I was talking about, but I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to all the news in Georgia, how they're banning K cars. New York is very difficult to register K cars. And I feel like that pattern may continue in other states. I don't think like Texas and Florida and those type of states are ever going to change just because I feel like it's all whatever you want to do over there. But I've been seeing some states change some rules. So I got in contact with Montana. And I think my most anticipated video, things I get questioned about the most is how do I register my K cars? How does anyone register K cars living in New York where it's pretty difficult? I know in the DMV it says it's impossible, but like it's not obviously. So living here is becoming very difficult. Georgia is becoming difficult. Maine, a lot, even in California, that's one of my most popular questions. Hey, is it legal to register in California? And in my understanding, no, but I know people who have them in California, so you never know. But what I'll be doing on here and Patreon, but Patreon first, is I'm going to buy a car, whatever car I get next, if it's my Minica, if it's the Alto, if there's another random car I see out here, regardless if it has import papers or title, I will be making a video finally once we get everything like ironed out, I will be making a video that says how to register your K car in Montana, but how to register your K car. So it doesn't matter if your state like Georgia or New York, that makes it really difficult. But no matter where you live, I will show you exactly from A to Z, from you having import papers, what to mail in, from you having a title, which makes life a lot easier, but even living in New York, where if I have a title, even if I go to my DMV, it kind of depends the day of the week. It depends who's there, depends which DMV, what county am I in, if I can get a title. What the video that I'm gonna do and the way that we're gonna do it in Montana is that it doesn't matter. If you have a title and you live in Georgia, they'll give you your plates, they'll give you your registration, and there's no sale tax for like, if you buy more expensive cars like G-Wagon and stuff like that. I don't know if you know about the Montana, I wouldn't even call it a loophole, but the Montana way of doing things. So that video is coming soon. I cannot wait to do that. That should be out sometime in November for sure. So no matter what car I buy next, I will be registering in Montana. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna be the, I don't wanna see the test dummy, but I'm gonna be the test dummy to show you, hey, this is exactly how you do it from A to Z. It's gonna be like an hour video. I'm sure it's gonna be parts because step one is gonna be, you know, sending my paperwork to Montana and then waiting to get it registered and then waiting for the title and blah, blah, blah. So whatever car I buy next, most likely the black also, but Whatever car I get next, we will be doing that whole process. Also, speaking of Patreon, it's five bucks. If you guys haven't already subscribed, I think it's worth it. Not only there am I doing like free Patreon only giveaways, I'm going to like, I always post a bunch of like K car steals that I see. I post future projects. Like I said, I mentioned all this on Patreon a couple days ago and mentioned even other stuff on there that I'm not gonna talk about here because that's kind of the whole point of Patreon. But you know, I'm just gonna do a bunch of fun stuff. Like I already have my giveaway idea what I'm gonna do in October um, I'm gonna give away something for free I'm not gonna say it here but I'm gonna give away something for free it just helps the channel out you get first access to like ideas and stuff like that so if you haven't already some sort of like support the channel subscribe it's five bucks it helps me out everybody wins you get exclusive content and I don't know it helps me out so people who have done already thank you the people who haven't already Thank you either way just for watching on YouTube. And I think that's pretty much it for updates. This car is done like I mentioned a million times. That's why I haven't really been having videos to post. There's nothing else I can do to this car. I can just make it better at this point, but I already started the waffle. I'm gonna go over all the rules and everything right now. So good news on the Honda Beat though. It does have a title. So I've already been kind of getting all that situated. So this car has a title, which is cool, but we're doing $58 a slot, 190 slots, so not 200. Uh, first place is going to win the beat, of course. Uh, no free delivery in Alaska or Hawaii. There's someone that always enters in Canada. And if you win, bro, and you want to handle all that, I guess, but no Canada either. Come to the U.S. title, which is great. Free delivery, which is also great. Seeing how this car is title and everything. If the person lives in like a cool vicinity, like, you know, within 10 hours or nothing too far. Like if you live in California, obviously I wouldn't drive it to you. But if the person lives in Virginia, I always wanted for someone who won for me to drive it to them and I think that'd be a cool video of like have one of my friends follow me and we just drive the car and it's like move that rental and then it's just the Honda Beat you know what I mean like that's kind of one of my goals so free shipping um or $5,500 but I always wish the person takes the car second place is $600 third place is $300 it started last night there's 160 slots so 30 slots in one day the last one you guys know filled up really quickly but I don't foresee anyone buying 100 slots again and honestly i already text jeff and was like please don't do that so 
Um, and yeah, same rules, live on my Instagram. You don't need to be there to, to win. I am gonna do some extra prizes for the people who are watching. I'll do like some Hot Wheels, or I'll do like some other little giveaways for the people who are there tuned in. Um, and that's pretty much it. Let me answer this call real quickly though. Now let's talk about the John Deere Honda Beat that's being waffled away. So you guys know I've owned this car since June. We wrapped it, brand new tires, still got the pricklies on them. Painted the calipers yellow, wrapped it 3M Envy Green. Got this painted black, painted black, painted back, painted back. Added a shorty antenna. We got a new window from Japan. Let's do a 360 walk around. Got some new emblems from Japan. It's not gonna come with this plate, just in case anyone's wondering. I wanna keep those. Those I'm kinda keep those really near and dear to my heart. But the wrap, in my opinion, is a solid eight out of nine. The only areas that we messed up in is like stuff like this that I think I'm still gonna take to my homies and see what they can do just to fix it. But for someone who doesn't know what they're doing or even if the winner wants to take the wrap off, it's all whatever they wanna do. I love just putting my like stamp on cars and I know that realistically it's not gonna stay like this forever. So if someone keeps it like this, cool. They turn it into their own project, still cool. K is always the way. Let's pop the trunk, see a little bit of the engine. Back here, you can see the intake. What we did was new plugs and wires on the intake. I think that's pretty much it. Came in a new battery, starts right up. Carpet is clean. Pop the frunk. So I removed the spare tire and I don't have it anymore. One thing I was thinking about doing, and maybe I'll still do it, is I was going to wrap this all black, like with, um, with like felt, just so, because I always use it to put my book bag. And I figured, you know, why not just make it a little more VIP? So I still might do that. We might wrap this whole thing black, seeing how long this takes, if I have enough time to get the fabric and everything. But I was just gonna spray some like adhesive, put all like a nice felt black, and I think it would make it look a little luxe. But under here is clean, no issues. Car hasn't given me any issues. As you guys know, I just finished a 700 mile road trip. I love taking those trips just to put my car on the line and let people know like, hey, I'm selling this Honda B. A lot of people could get them. I mean, you can't really get this one for cheaper. Even the price I asked was 8,500. I don't think that was expensive at all, but a lot of people like to sell fresh off the boat cars. This is someone who's owned the car since June, did all the maintenance, just went on a 700 mile road trip. So in my opinion, this car is turnkey ready to go. With that being said, let's start looking at the interior and I will start it right now. It has 127,000 kilometers. Everything in here works. I know that's pretty common for them to be faulty in the beat. Comes with an ETC reader. Starts right up. Seat-wise, I've seen worse. It isn't in the greatest condition. I actually have seat covers that I was gonna throw on here, but it is something about the zebra print that makes this car really pop. And I love the fact that it has a zebra armrest right there too, so. I don't know, I just feel like black seat covers on this. It doesn't do the car justice. And it's really just right here and here I don't even realize. So I would say this is one of the most spacious two-seater K cars. Back here, everything is nice and clean. Here's one of the glove boxes. Here's another glove box, ETC reader. These speakers don't work, they never did, but I think they just make the car look nice. I was actually gonna swap them out and fix them completely. I found a bunch of people like on the forums who did it, but you have to remove the whole dash. And to me, I don't know, it really wasn't worth it. Although I felt like if I kept the car longer, I would have definitely swapped those out because that's another really common beat problem that I would love to make a video on and just fix. But I did put new speakers here. The radio also luckily works, so that's always good. I just have a Bluetooth cassette that I use and that's how I let it work. AC blows cold, heat works, hazards work, headlights work. Top goes down with no problem. Also installed this new weather stripper. Got this OEM from Honda. Shout out to the people in the forums. This dude named Juan, I believe his name, helped me out. He showed me exactly how to do it. This is me pulling hard. Oh shit, popped it out a bit. But you just have to tuck it in in both sides like that and then you're good the passenger seat is pretty flawless there's no rips there no rips there no rips there this seat pulls up and over here you have it came with a cd player if you guys wanted i could throw that in there that's what that wire is i never took it out 
and then some extra storage here i don't know if a lot of people know that but you also got some storage there and that's pretty much it windows work everything in the car works definitely one of my favorite k cars that engine note with the itbs and intake is just really memorizing so let's drive it around the block a bit just get a nice feel of the car i gotta put my seat up honestly and i'm not even short but there's a lot of space in here you could easily be over six foot and drive this car pretty comfortably but let's go right i'm gonna just drive it normally without like gunning it just get into gears windows both work both go down wipers work start off in second Just a little sound, sound. Right. Start off in second again. Go into all the gears. So this is second, third, fourth, and that's fifth. Everything works. I'll stop right here and go into reverse. Just cause. No grinding in the gears or nothing like that. Now let's punch it. And I'm supposed to be the Honda hater to an extent, but come on, that's second gear. miles per hour no car should sound that good at that speed like although the beat out of the abc cars isn't turbo like the other two this one is by far i haven't owned the cappuccino or az one yet but it's kind of turbo noises turbo noises are turbo noises this has to be one of the best sounding k cars like for me for, out, of, out, of, out of all the cars that i own including the jimny that had the blitz bull valve bull valve is cool i love it psh, 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 but only that's less than 40 miles per hour you don't get that with the turbo like you don't get that at all with the turbo let's do one last drive like this not to mention the convertible fact of it too the fact that it's a convertible and you get to hear it even more like, that's like 12 miles per hour oh man everyone that's seen this car has always been like you can't sell this one you can't sell this one and it's like i have to how am i supposed to get the next one selling it like i can't wait to keep all these cars honestly like i hope that the winner is relatively close that like I, my goal would be i would love to drive this all the way there like i would love to be like move that bus and it's the honda b so i'm in this video here i'm gonna just let you guys hear the pov drive of me going home if you haven't already enter the waffle thank you for watching thank you for subscribing without you guys any of this stuff will be possible if you want subscribe to my patreon if not it's all good but at least leave a like at least subscribe let me know that i'm doing my job correctly but i catch you guys on the next one peace
for fame.